All right, so now we've got the women's draw. The ladies draw for Rome. Uh, Iga Sviantec's back. She's the defending champion. She is back. Uh, let's go have a look at who's not playing, though, because some big names are pulled out of this event. So on the women's side, we have a few names pulled out of this one. We have Krejcikova. She's pulled out. The French Open champion still yet to play. Uh, hardly played this year. Kvitova, she's also out. Mertens is out. Svitolina is out. And Von Drusova is also out of this one. All right, top of the draw is Iga Sviantec. She gets a bye in the first round. The top eight seeds get a bye in the first round. Uh, she'll take on the winner of Rogers versus Risk, who are going at it in the first round there. Uh, then you've got Osorio taking on Bronzetti. Winner of that match takes on either Golubic or Azarenka in the second round. So Azarenka versus Sviantec could be a third round there. Uh, then you've got one of the best first round matches going around. It's Rodokanu, the number 10 seed, taking on Bianca Andreescu. Two teenage US Open champions up against each other. That is a fire matchup. You know we're watching that one. Uh, winner of that match plays the winner of Tormo versus Osaka. Another fire matchup. Osaka and Tormo just played in Madrid last week. So that is going to be epic as well. The winners will play each other. Then we've got a qualifier versus Mukova. It gets even harder to this part of the draw. Uh, winner of that match takes on the number five seed, Contivate, who's coming back after not playing in Madrid. That part of the draw is just insane. And then they'll all beat the hell out of each other, and the winner will play Sviantec. So look at that part of the draw as the harder section, without a doubt. Uh, then you've got Sabalenka, the three seed. She gets a buy in the first round. She'll take on the winner of Zhang or Trevison, who are going at it in the first round. Then we've got Kalanina versus Keys. Winner of that match takes on either Samsonova or Pagula, the number 13 seed. So... Pagula, who's in the final of Madrid. Uh, that's a tough matchup against Samson over in the first round. Then we got Benchic, the number 12 seed, taking on uh, Chocky Aredo. Uh, winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or a Nissimova in the second round. Some crazy matchups potentially in the second round there. Uh, then we got Cornet versus Halep. Winner of that takes on the number 7 seed, Collins. Simona Halep. That's a tough part of the draw there with Benchic and Nissimova, Collins, uh, Halep, of course. That's a crazy part of the draw as well. Bottom half of the draw now, we've got Muguruza. She takes on a qualifier in the second round after getting a buy in the first round. Two qualies going at it. Uh, then we've got Georgie versus Tomanovic. Winner of that match takes on either Kastea or the number nine seed Jabor down the bottom half there. Uh, she's in the Madrid final tomorrow. Then we've got number 15 seed Goff taking on Kerber. That's a fun matchup. Winner of that match takes on either Towson or a qualifier in the second round. Then we've got Stevens versus Alexandrova. Winner of that match takes on the number four seed, Zachary, in the second round. And Zachary needs to get in some form before the French because hasn't really been playing that well lately and uh, has a lot of points to defend at the French Open. Bottom section of the draw now, you've got Pliskova. She gets a buy in the first round. She'll take on either Teichman or Perlini in the second round. Then we've got Rabakina taking on a qualifier. Winner of that match takes on either another qualifier or the 11 seed, Ostapenko, in the second round. Uh, then we've got Pavlyuchenkova taking on Fernandez. That's a fun match. Winner of that match takes on either Kazakina or Zedinshek in the second round. Then we've got a qualifier versus Kudamatova. Winner of that takes on the number two seed, Badosa, in the second round. Uh, Badosa played Kudamatova last week, so that's going to be a replay if that happens. I've got to be honest, the bottom half of the draw, that little section where um, Badosa is, that's really good for Badosa. I think she's got a very good draw. I mean, you've got, you know, Fernandez, you've got Kudamatova, Ostapenko, Pliskova, Pavlyuchenkova, uh, Teichman, Rabakina. Tough players, but manageable. I would say that Bados has probably got the best draw out of the lot. Who's going to win this match? Because uh, win, Who's going to win this tournament? Because is Iga going to be able to go into the French Open on a win streak? Can she win her fifth in a row? Or is someone else going to get the win? She is the defending champion. But I think Badosa might get the win. I think she's got a much better draw than someone like uh, Sviantec, who potentially has a nightmare uh, from the third round onwards. I mean, Azarenka could be third round. It could be, you know, uh, any, it could be Osaka, Raducanu, uh, Contivate in the four, in the quarters, you know, and who knows what's happening after that. So everyone's going with Iga, okay. I, I, I don't know. I think maybe Badosa. 